Hello everyone. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to use terrain painting tools in the global mapper. For this purpose, I will load uh, my area of uh, interest digital elevation model. Open the file. So this is my area of interest uh, digital elevation model DEM. Now we will use some of the tools that we can play around with this digital elevation model. We will use uh, no data, fill tool, uh, terrain exaggeration, as well as uh, different other tools. So for this purpose, I will activate the enable terrain painting tool. So click on it. So you will have this pan that will be open so now you can see here uh, different uh, operation operational tools are available here uh, the fill gaps tool smooth terrain raise terrain height and a lot of other tools uh, are available here or features F now we will use first the set to no data some of uh, in the digital elevation model uh, in some areas we don't have the data are the gaps are present within the global uh, the digital elevation model so this first tool is used to fill that gaps for for to fill those gaps so in this digital elevation model i don't see any gaps so we will create gaps in it in this digital elevation model and we will assign uh, some no data to the some of the pixels uh, in this digital elevation model for this I will activate this to tool set no set to no data this one Now here uh, another uh, tool which uh, uh, Tool is available which is brush type so you can use point like when I use point and the brush size I will make it hundred for now so you can see here the 100 size now if I click here like this so this area is uh, assigned no data or zero value okay now you can also use the line tool as well like this and right click so you can also use this tool as well as the line trace tool as well like when you click on it you can trace it like this okay and along with this you can also use area tool area trace tool and select feature tool uh, like this you can use it here okay so you, these tools uh, uh, you can use and select the tool the appropriate tool for your uh, okay so for now i will uh, select the point tool this is how you can use the set to no data tool and also you can fill the uh, fill these gaps by selecting this tool and now i will select the area polygon vertex and now i will select this area now right click so this area has been interpolated uh, from the surrounding uh, elevation points or data. Now we can also do it from here like this. So it will fill the digital elevation model like this. Still, this part is remaining. Like this, you can fill these tools. Of course, uh, this digital elevation model is not that much accurate, but the fill tool you can use it for uh, some small gaps are present sometime in the digital elevation model, so you can interpolate that with this fill tool. 
okay now you can also use the smooth terrain tool as well and now let me select uh, uh, let me smooth this terrain here so it will remove the unnecessary ups and down or the too much steep slopes like this so you can use this tool as well now you can also use the raised terrain height so the height is now here 10 i will make it uh, 1000 for now let's see what happened here so you can see here this uh, terrain the selected terrain has been the color has been changed to red color and the red color actually shows the high terrain and high val uh, higher elevation values now to see uh, the higher elevation here or the exaggerated or the raised terrain height we will uh, switch to the 3d uh, preview so i will uncheck uh, i will cross it and now go to the view and 3d now here in 3d you can see this terrain has been raised with the extra, uh, extra thousand elevation value so you can see it this this area has been raised this selected area now you can also now once again go to the the terrain pending tools and now lower terrain lower terrain height now i will also uh, uh, now let me lower it by thousand so it will go once again to their original position now let me select it now you can see that it has been restored while some of the four flaws are here uh, we can also fix this but now uh, set terrain heights so this this tool is used to set the terrain height uh, but it will uh, set the terrain height but we, we will uh, with the smooth and uh, uniform elevation like how let me show you let me make it 3500 3500 and select this area now here you can see that this area has been raised but the elevation is uniform so we don't need it here now you can also redo and undo it i will undo it let me make it undo and now slope terrain along like line you can also uh, place a line in the uh, here with the slope of 45 i will select 45 now let me make this 30 the push size now you can see here the line now let me once again switch to the 3d and now zoom in now you can see here a slope line has been added with the angle of 45 degrees so here you can see this 45 degree line i don't know the use of this uh, feature or tool but you can use it like this i don't know actually the use of the this tool okay uh, now undo it so we cannot undo it now here so i will unload this uh, digital elevation model and again i will load it once again i will load my original file now again go to the painting and now you can also slope terrain across line now i, I will also place this uh, uh, with the slope of 45 uh, degrees now okay so here this this line you can also see this line but now let me show you in 3d so that you can see it in 3d yeah so here 
this the the slope line is here with the angle of 45 degree the slope is 45 degree this is the slope of this line you can also choose the slope line to be the to on the left hand side right hand side or uh, east or west you can also choose these option as well here how now let me show you here this is the left right and bottom okay if you want to revert to the original heights so you can use this option uh, revert to the original and now select i will revert it to the original display this line now you can see here the original height have been restored you can also use some of the other other tools like um, generate brick lines this is another tool that you can use in global mapper okay so this brick line actually what does it mean here three options are available find find brick line at slope region boundaries so the region boundaries will only be Uh, the brick line will be uh, generated only for the uh, region boundaries and here fi uh, find brick line around edges of region with the similar slope and for this uh, find brick line at any surface uh, brick uh, surface brick so i will use this option for now and i will click uh, okay and the sample size is 33.64 is actually depend on the uh, your um, digital elevation model uh, resolution so by default it has been selected the 33 uh, and this is actually a 30 meter resolution digital elevation model now this is the smooth noise which is 5 uh, cross 5 this is also by default now let me make uh, let me uh, okay so you you also uh, you can also draw a box and let me generate it in uh, in this region for this region okay now click okay so in this bound it will only be generated in this bound now click okay you can also use a layer bounds use layer bounds on the screen so um, let me draw a box here once again okay now again click okay now let me uncheck the digital uh, dm so you can see here on every slope the brick line have been generated so you can see here the brick lines and also you can see the terrain uh, features or the trend of the terrain from here and you can also see where the uh, the uh, slope is high and where the slope is very low so here you can see here the very uh, uh, small or uh, short uh, features with the slope are available here in this area there is not been extended like here here it's very uh, extended as compared to this region you can also try these find brick uh line along the slope region boundaries as well as find brick around edges of the region with similar slopes now let me get uh, uh unload it close and unload nope now click it now i will create for the similar slopes now uh, create uh, draw box i will create only in this part for this part okay here you can only see the along that boundary only the brick line have been generated now uncheck it check this one
so here you can uh, you can see this along the boundaries the brick line have been generated 